Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1725, renowned Italian explorer, author, and lover Giacomo Casanova is born on this day. In 1792, the U.S. dollar is introduced as a form of currency. In 1800, Ludwig von Beethoven premieres his first symphony. In 1819, agricultural journal American Farmer is first published today. In 1827, U.S. inventor Joseph Dixon of Salem, Massachusetts begins manufacturing lead pencils. In 1845, the first successful photo of the sun is taken. In 1863, in what is now known as the Richmond Bread Riot, food shortages incite hundreds of angry women in Richmond, Virginia to demand that the Confederate government release emergency supplies. In 1865, Confederate troops were forced to evacuate their capital in Richmond, Virginia during the American Civil War. Also in 1865, the Battle of Fort Blakely in Alabama is the last major battle of the U.S. Civil War. In 1866, U.S. President Andrew Johnson ends the Civil War in Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Mississippi, Louisiana, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia. It's effectively over. In 1872, American painter and co-creator of the Morse Code, Samuel Morse, is born today. In 1877, the first Easter egg roll was held on the White House lawn. Also in 1877, in London, the first Human Cannonball Act was performed by 14-year-old Rosa Matilda Richter. In 1900, the U.S. Congress passes the Foraker Act, giving Puerto Rico limited self-rule. In 1902, in Los Angeles, California, the Electric Theater opens. It is the first full-time movie theater in the United States. In 1912, the passenger ship Titanic undergoes sea trials using its own power for the first time today. In 1914, today Obi-Wan Kenobi, British actor Alec Guinness, was born. In 1917, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson asks Congress for a declaration of war against Germany. Also in 1917, Jeanette Rankin of Montana begins her term as the first woman member of the United States House of Representatives. In 1921, Albert Einstein lectures in New York City on his new theory of relativity. In 1931, a 17-year-old girl named Jackie Mitchell strikes out New York Yankees stars Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig at an exhibition baseball game in Chattanooga, Tennessee. You go, Jackie. In 1932, Charles Lindbergh pays the $50,000 ransom for his kidnapped son, but he never gets his boy back. In 1942, the USS Hornet, with Jimmy Doolittle's B-25 aboard, departs from San Francisco. In 1954, Walt Disney announces plans to build Disneyland. In 1956, CBS TV premieres two 30-minute format soap operas today, As the World Turns and The Edge of Night. In 1958, in a Texas tornado, wind speeds reach a record 280 miles per hour. In 1963, Explorer 17 attains Earth orbit. In 1968, the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey had its world premiere. Also in 1968, the Beatles form Python Music Limited. In 1971, supernatural soap opera Dark Shadows runs its final episode after a five-year run on ABC TV. In 1972, actor Charlie Chaplin returns to the United States for the first time since being labeled a communist during the Red Scare in the early 1950s. In 1973, CBS Radio begins On the Hour News 24 hours a day. Sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? In 1974, at the 46th Academy Awards, The Sting, Glenda Jackson, and Jack Lemmon win. In 1975, construction of the CN Tower is completed in Toronto, Canada. It is the world's tallest freestanding structure at the time. In 1977, Fleetwood Mac's highly influential album, Rumors, hits number one and stays there for 31 weeks. In 1978, the nighttime soap opera Dallas debuted as a five-part miniseries and then becomes a weekly series for the next 13 years. Also in 1978, Czech tennis star Martina Navratilova wins her first WTA Tour Championship. 
In 1982, Argentina occupies the Falkland Islands over a dispute with the United Kingdom. In 1984, Georgetown's John Thompson becomes the first African-American head coach to lead his team to an NCAA Division I title. In 1985, the NCAA Rules Committee adopts a 45-second shot clock for men's basketball in an effort to eliminate stalling. And just one year later, in 1986, the NCAA Basketball Rules Committee votes to adopt the three-point shot. Also in 1986, New York City Mayor Ed Koch signs the city's gay rights bill. In 1992, American organized crime boss John Gotti was convicted on 13 criminal counts and was sentenced to life in prison. In 1995, the New York Police Department and the New York Transit Police merge into one organization. Also in 1995, North and Western Colorado begin using the new 970 area code. In 1996, in his 1,097th game played, Detroit Tiger Cecil Fielder steals his first base ever in a 10-6 win over the Minnesota Twins. In 2002, Israeli forces occupy the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. In 2004, Islamist terrorists who were involved in the March 2004 Madrid attacks fortunately fail in their attempt to bomb a Spanish high-speed train near Madrid today. In 2005, Bubba Stewart becomes the first African American to win a major motorsports event when he wins the AMA Supercross Championship in Irving, Texas. In 2006, over 60 tornadoes break out in the United States, with the hardest hit being the state of Tennessee. In 2010, basketball superstar Kobe Bryant signs a three-year contract extension with the Los Angeles Lakers worth $87 million. In 2013, the country of Uruguay passes legislation to legalize same-sex marriage. In 2015, 140 people are killed after gunmen attack Garissa University College in Kenya. In 2017, an attack on visitors to a Muslim shrine in Pakistan by the shrine's custodian leaves 20 people dead. In 2019, a federal report indicates that Canada is warming at twice the speed of the rest of the world. I wonder why. Also in 2019, 70 villages are evacuated in Iran after at least 45 people are killed in flooding from unprecedented rainfall. Again in 2019, Lori Lightfoot is elected as the first female African-American mayor of Chicago. And one more in 2019, NASA stated that they want to send astronauts to Mars by 2033 and land on the moon again in 2024. In 2020, a record 6.6 .6 million Americans filed for unemployment in the last week, according to an announcement by the U.S. Department of Labor. Also in 2020, John Hopkins University announces that the number of COVID-19 cases worldwide passed 1 million, with 51,485 deaths reported. And lastly, in 2021, a new study suggests that the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago also created South America's tropical rainforests. Hey, that was kind of a short one today, but I've got some others to watch right in front of you. Have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.